So in this example, we're going to look at Coulomb's law, specifically the kinematics of a particle in an electric field. So in this example, I have a charged particle, has a charge plus Q and a mass M. I initially have it at ground level, and I shoot it up and to the right with some initial velocity given by Vx in the x hat and Vy in the y hat. Um, and I apply an electric field downwards given by minus E naught in the y hat. E naught is a positive constant. And I ask, what is the path of the charged particle in the electric field shown below? So let's start by finding the net force and the net acceleration on the particle. So we know that the electric force on the particle is equal to Q times E. And by Newton's law, the net force on the particle is just M times A. So if we combine those together, we get QE equals MA. And substituting in the values that we have in this problem, we get the acceleration of this particle. Next, let's solve the kinematics equations in order to determine the path. So I've just written out a table that gives all of the initial and final values for the position, velocity, and acceleration. Now in this case, acceleration is uniform, so it is just a single acceleration. There is no initial and final value. And so we can start with our kinematics equation. We can substitute in the values that we found in the table. In this case, x0 is 0. I'm defining it to start at the origin. And the acceleration in the x direction is 0. So I just get x as a function of time is v times t. I can do the same thing for the y direction. But this time, the acceleration in the y is not 0. It's what we found earlier, so I substitute that in. And y0 is 0. Again, it starts at the origin. So I can put those two together. And in this case, I've just plotted a sample path of what this charged particle would follow. Um, in this case, I just assume that q, e, m, vx, and vy were all equal to 1, uh, just so we get an idea of the shape of the graph. So some final thoughts. First, we can combine the equations we learned for kinematics with the equations we learned for electricity. Remember, what you've learned in the past is still very applicable now. Uh, and a couple of questions for you to answer. First, how would the path change if it were a negatively charged particle instead of a positively charged particle? And second, how would the path change if the field were oriented in the opposite direction?